Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Chop Show. So, we are about to go ahead and put, finish up this game. I feel like we're getting kind of close to the end. This is now episode 8, and I have a creepy-ass boss. And I'm part of the CIA. And it's time to do some hoo-ha ass-kicking time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. That reminds me. One second, everybody. They didn't see us. Are you okay, Salim? Tell you, tell you. Let me just be a as a. We have to go our separate ways. I must go. Do you understand, Salim? La netro kuki. Yum kinuni al baka wila jani boki. Hasta ti umusa hada tuki. Sorry, but you can't come with me. You're really brave, Salim. Someday, this is all gonna be over. You can just go back to being a kid. Like how then test your hygiene? Then answer for like how the upper then. Jamal was around here somewhere. I don't have much time. I can't believe I spelled forest wrong. <laughs> Find a place close to the house where I can take cover. You know what you have to do. Find Jamal, Aiden. Don't stop. You're close. That's him. That's Jamal. I won't be able to get close enough. You're gonna have to do it. Yes, you are now Oh, I go down. 
to do it. Orders are orders. The guy's got blood on his hands. He deserves to die. Come on. I can do this. I can kill him. I can kill him. Yeah, leave your DNA at the scene. <laughs> He killed him.
10 years in the CIA. Never seen anything like it. Boss sends his own private helicopter to get an agent back. All the top brass are crazy about you, Jody. You and Aiden, of course. Jody, you okay? Listen, I know this one was tough, but it's over. I'm going home. It's just another mission accomplished, right? I'll never forget what I saw back there, right? Never. Well, fuck. It's pretty spot on. I mean, I probably wouldn't either. How's your leg? Better when this painkiller kicks in. and the international community had just announced its official recognition of the election of the new president, Jamal Sheikh Sharif. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. And now, sources report that he and all his government were assassinated in what appears to be an unclaimed attack. You what? Find Jamal and eliminate him. Hopes were high that the newly recognized President Jamal Sharif would be able to put an end to the hostilities that have ravaged his country for many years. A number of world leaders have already expressed outrage at what appears to be nothing less than a cold blooded execution. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. <laughs> You lied to me. What are you talking about? Jamal wasn't a warlord. He was the president. He was the democratically elected president. Your point? We're not politicians. We had our orders. You knew I wouldn't have murdered him. So you lied to me. Welcome to the CIA, Jody. It's not fucking choir practice in case you haven't noticed. Now, we had a job to do, and we did it. End of story. This might just be a fucking job to you, okay? But I don't go around killing people because some poor fucking star general tells me to. What's going on? Listen, listen, just calm down, all right? We'll get back home and we'll talk about it, okay? You manipulated me. You used me to do your dirty work. What difference does it make? Jody, you was a dead man walking with or without you. I have blood on my hands! Some kid lost his father because of me. Because I trusted you. Because I trusted we were doing the right thing. What am I, me, Ryan? A toy? Some fucking puppet that you can just do whatever you want with? We're getting massive turbulence. What? I can't, I can't control it. Did you also lie to me that night in my apartment? Dude, for God's sake, you're gonna kill us. No one's ever gonna lie to me again, Ryan. Fuck. Well, I mean, you can't really keep me in the helicopter either.
through being their toy. You tell them that if they try to find me, I'll kill them. Jody, listen. Tell them, Nathan. haunting of everyone's life involved with this. So, 72 people kissed Ryan, captured the militiamen. Oh, got captured by militiamen. I didn't get captured at all. Jody, my little princess. Oh, Ooh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. So sad and lost, like the first time I saw you. You can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's it? I did. Oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, then. Home see home. I was worried. They're looking for you. I had to run away. I, mean, I had no choice. Have they made any progress on the info world? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser. The most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. Did you tell anyone that I called you? No, of course not. Not even Nathan. <laughs> Wouldn't do me any good to be meeting up with a known felon now, would it? <laughs> and you? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, see if they're different species, that kind of thing. It's not the highest priority, but I get to do what I want. So. What I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? <laughs> On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. My mother's locked up in a mental hospital. I'm sorry, Jody. Here. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's That's in a why. mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I could look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody, she's in a high security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. Look. You've 
taken a huge risk for him. Thank you, Cole. That was a short conversation. Hey. You didn't think I was gonna let you go alone, did you? That's what's up. Stud mu- What the hell? <laughs> what's going on, Zod? <laughs> I don't like it, Jody. No, I'm like, No guard on gate. Empty park. I want I was testing out Battlefront field. too. I got what I was expecting it, but I'm not as good as I need, as I should be at it, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna wait on the battlefront. But it is what I need it to be though. That's the good part about it. So there most likely will be more battlefront to come and I might even do the storyline also. But I bet your fingers hurt. I I bet. Got Q W E R T and then A S D F. It's all four, all, all those keys. Where am I going? This way. Come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? Can you help me out? Look, she's my mother. I haven't seen her in. I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Okay, so it didn't get him this time. But next. I'm working on it. I was afraid you'd say that. Yeah, I want to see who I need to see. Nora Gray, seventh floor, room 43. Hey, there's no call button. Maybe it's behind the desk. So far, so good. What just happened? It feels so weird. What is this? First. Have a look around.
behind you. Nice, Aiden. Now unlock the door. What the fuck is going on? I can't believe that this electricity went out. We shall go. We were not wanted. that I gotta do to get in. I'm a little bit kind of lost now. I don't see what I gotta do. That's turned away. I'm so confused now.
Uh, Jesus. Crazy folk really freaked me out. Can we find room 43 and get the hell out of here? I'm here. I wait here. Jody. She may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Oh, damn. It's one of those. You shouldn't go in. Take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. Oh, that's my baby! Bring her back! I've changed my mind! I want my baby! Get the baby out of here! Please! Get the baby out of here! consciousness. I 
was so afraid I would never see you again. I've missed you so much, Jody. I've missed you so much. What happened? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. Yeah. I love you more than anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that. Drugs out of it. What is he telling? Why is that happening? What else is in here that I can do? Sorry, Jody. <clears throat> How'd they know? Powerful condenser of your creativity. Press the business. Nathan. Oh. George, it's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? 
<laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. No, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. I just didn't want to give you a chance to use Aiden. How did they find me? They've been tracking you ever since you escaped. They wanted to kill you. But I convinced them to wait for a while and watch you from a distance. Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Bad question. Oh, God. Difficult answer. Nora wasn't stable. Uns what? You're lying. They were afraid she was a danger to herself. You're lying. Baby. You're lying. My mother would never hurt me. They You're lying, dude. Chance. Look. Bro. I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. You're lying. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Why did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? <laughs> Yo, his face, though. His face I is tried like, to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So, I looked after you, loved you, tried to protect you as best as I could. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. Help them? You want me to help the people that took away my mother and stole my life? I mean, haven't I done enough? We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. Well, fuck. Thanks for putting all that weight on my shoulders, asshole. Talking about pressure is real! According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infoworld. Found a rift, conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hainanjiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the Infoworld. That means they found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission is to destroy this condenser and any other advanced technology you find. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Our building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the infra world and make sure that no one will try to use it against us. I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Team will. Team? Show them in, Marla. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. 
Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. The mission begins in two days. Good luck. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're gonna find on the other side. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to train the info world yet. Good. I don't want to lose you. It's good to see you. Not good to see you, fuck boy. For the mission's sake, I'm trying to keep Biden from killing you. But no promises. Yeah, fuck boy. Gave me shit well, since I was like, what, 15? We're off to a great start. Yeah, man. damn right. And then you lie to me, you try to fuck me too, go on a date in my own damn apartment and all this shit. You motherfucker, you piece of shit. Fuck boy. What the fuck is going on? Hey, what boy? Chinese? What is going on? Where the hell am I? I'm tired of all this. If you refuse to cooperate, oh, I will have no Korean. choice but to kill you. Because the hat. Of course, I will kill you regardless. But it could have been fast and painless. Instead, it will be a very, very slow and agonizing death. <laughs> So, I ask you one last time. Uh, Who do you work for? I don't... Where are you? Here? We're right on top of the coordinates. The storm's getting worse. What do we do now? Hey, Jody, ask Aiden to find a shelter somewhere. You hear that, Aiden? Freezing out here. Could you please find somewhere we can hide? Oh, 
fucking freezing. What are we doing here? It's just a goddamn fishing village. Our informer duped us. That's what happened. We better get moving before they have to dig our frozen dead asses out of here. Three days walking on ice, eating snow for nothing. Fuck! I find the asshole that sent us here. Hey! I'm sick and tired of hearing you complaining. That's all you have to say, then shut the fuck up. <clears throat> you guys, I'm freezing. You think maybe we could build a fire first and argue later? Well, she's right. We'll set up camp here till the storm blows over. I'll contact HQ and get instructions. Oh, fuck. Get a connection? Fuck it. No, it's gonna take some time with the storm. You're still angry with me, huh? Damn, all this stuff is soaking. It probably won't make you change your mind, but I regret what happened. You're right. It doesn't make me change my mind. you doing with C4? And you you poke around at it? What the fuck did you do? I'm gonna go out. I'm desperate for a pee. You're lucky be lucky if your pee don't freeze to you. Don't go too far, okay? Minus 40. I don't plan on doing any sightseeing. Plus, on top of that, all it is is white outside because of all the snow. <laughs> See you? No. No, I don't think so. Let's roll. Let's follow them!
Bingo. I didn't go see what's inside. Submarines. Submarines? That means the rift is. It's underwater. I think they must have a, a base down there and they're using the subs to shuttle supplies. How many soldiers? I can see three. Tell Aiden to take them out. Aiden? Get rid of them. Is that? We do now. You're pretty. Just give me a second, okay?
What exactly are you doing? I'm finding a solution to the problem. Nice idea, but it won't fool them very long. Yeah, well, maybe not. But that fucking rift is not gonna shut down by itself, is it? Okay. That might work from a distance. Then what? We take the sub down to the base. And then we take it from there. I'll go with her. What about us? It's a two-seater. You stay here, you find us a way out. By the time we get back, there's a good chance we're gonna have to move fast. What? Wait, that's in order, Nick. Give me the explosives. The base shouldn't be far. Alrighty, everybody. Thank you all for joining me in the Chop Show. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe on YouTube and Twitch. About to go ahead and start with episode 9 in Underwater. But other than that, though, thank you all for joining me again. And please have a great day. Catch you guys later. Yeah.